Tonight, Pakistan is in uncharted territory. The ruling party is mapping out its strategy, considering possible successors to Yusuf Raza Ghilani. But any future prime minister could face the same legal problems, the same demands for action from the Supreme Court. The battle between the judges and the government could run and run. Orla Geerin, BBC News, Islamabad. Now, loneliness is bad for your head. health. That's the conclusion of two major medical studies in the United States, which concluded that people living alone have a shorter life expectancy. Scientists from the University of California studied 1,600 elderly people over six years. They found that uh, those who lived on their own were 45% higher risk of death. A separate study of more than uh, 44,000 people suggested that those living alone with heart disease also tend to die sooner. Well, I'm joined now from San Francisco by the lead author of that report, Dr. Carla Paris Notto from the University of California in San Francisco. Why is it that people who live on their own are likely to die earlier, do you think? You know, it's an interesting question, and I think an important part of the study is not necessarily that they're living alone, but rather even when someone is living with someone else, if they are feeling subjectively lonely, this is what is placing them at greatest risk. The thought is that uh, there may be something related uh, to their biology, whether it's increased inflammation or whether it's something socially mediated like an, an inability to care for oneself as well. So in other words, uh, the, how did you measure loneliness? So you did have people in your study who were married perhaps but still declared themselves to be lonely, is that correct? That's correct. That is again one of the most fascinating parts is that we asked people over the age of 60 to describe whether they felt that they lacked companionship, felt alone, um, or felt socially isolated. And when someone answered yes to these questions, we classified them as lonely. And it did mean that most of the people who reported feeling lonely actually were living with someone else or who were married. So again, this relates to an issue of social connectivity, whereas you could be surrounded by people but feel, still feel distressed about being alone. So uh, do you think it's a psychological component to that, that, I mean, if you're, you're lonely, if you feel lonely, you're less likely to perhaps look after yourself or pay attention to your health. That's exactly right. And I think that's where the next studies need to focus on is seeing where the exact mechanism is. There are, there, there are studies that postulate that there may be a difference in sleep, ability for someone to remember to take their medications, for example, go to the doctor's office. But we don't, our study did not exactly look at causation. What it did show is that as physicians, as geriatricians, as family members, we need to be paying attention to our elderly, um, to our older adults around us, and think about what other factors could be influencing their health, their risk of losing independence, and ultimately their risk of death. Dr. Carla Perisinato, thank you very much. Thank you. It has been 24 years since Aung San Suu Kyi was last in Britain, which was, of course, for a very long time, her adopted home and the place where she raised her children. Today, the Burmese opposition leader was back visiting the BBC, where she paid tribute to the Burmese language service for keeping her in touch during her many years under house arrest. Her arrival here comes after the European Union agreed to suspend sanctions against Burma.